for these 10 out of 10 cravings. So let's just tap on that from start. So even though, even though, even though I have this 10 out of 10 craving, I totally and completely accept myself. I totally and completely accept myself. If this craving goes away, if this craving goes away, and if this craving does not go away, if this craving does not go away, I still totally and completely accept myself. I still totally and completely accept myself. This craving goes away. This craving goes away. This craving never goes away. This craving never goes away. This craving is gone now. This craving is gone now. This craving is never gone. This craving is never gone. Whether or not it's gone, whether or not it's gone, I fully accept myself. I fully accept myself. With or without this craving. With or without this craving. Okay, you're very serious. Certain <laughs> 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 serious craving. <laughs> So, feelings of uh, celebration, feelings around the chocolate, uh, and you have particular emotions of love. Yeah, I like it when I'm stressed at the end of the day to have some chocolate. Unfortunately, one is not enough. <laughs> Let's tackle that. Okay. One is never enough. <laughs> One will never be enough. One will never be enough. For as long as I live. One will never ever be enough. One will never ever be enough. Even after I'm dead. Even after I'm dead. They'll also be putting candies in my mouth. <laughs> Never enough. Never enough. Picture that bad the the the, 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 the open cost funeral, the corpse laying there. It's <laughs> <laughs> never enough. Leave me your will, yeah. My entire estate. This is this is all to So, um, I draw the point. One is never enough. One is never enough. enough. One will never be enough. One will never be enough. And I love it, except myself. And I love it, except myself. Anyway. Anyway. Even with this craving. Even with this craving. For the chocolate. For the chocolate. Okay, nice deep breath. What are the feelings? It's a feeling of comfort. You know, fast you eat it. Right. Yeah. A feeling of comfort after Comfort and family. Right. Yeah. Love. Right. So this chocolate means comfort, family, and love. This chocolate means comfort, family, and love. And I fully and completely accept that this chocolate means comfort, family, and love. This chocolate means comfort, family, and love. Comfort, family, and love. Comfort, family, and love. Comfort, family, love, and chocolate. Comfort, family, love, and chocolate. Chocolate, comfort, family, love. Chocolate, comfort, family, love. Chocolate mixed with comfort. Chocolate mixed with comfort. Family and love. Family and love. And I accept myself. And I accept myself. Just the way I am. Just the way I am. With my life the way it is. With my life the way it is. Okay, I'll deep breath. Is there any other feelings? Yeah, it was, it was always around something special when I was growing up, a special occasion. We didn't have a lot, and when we had chocolate, it was a very special time. So, this chocolate means a special occasion. This chocolate means a special occasion. <laughs> and that means dead, I'm like, Mike, I'm going to give you this one instead. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is not working. Yeah. I'm going to switch on. There's another mic too, we can use that. I was wondering if the mic was working, I thought something yeah. was say. Do you guys hear it back there? Yeah. 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 Okay, so if there's chocolate, if there's chocolate, it's a special occasion. It's a special occasion. 
I need the chocolate. I need, I need the chocolate. chocolate. To make the day feel special. To make the day feel special. To make my life feel special. To make my life feel special. That I totally accept myself. And I totally accept myself. Just the way I am. Just the way I am. I have compassion on myself. I have compassion on myself. Just the way I am. Just the way I am. Actually, I don't have compassion on myself. <laughs> Actually, I don't have compassion on myself. I am so hard on myself. I am so hard on myself. No one is harder on myself than I am on myself. And that's the truth. And it really is the truth. Most of us are so hard on ourselves. Yeah. So, even though I'm hard on myself, don't have much compassion for myself for being special. I love and accept. The version of me, the version of me, that exists now. That exists now. So, okay, nice deep breath. Hmm. So, is there a trigger for any of you linked to eating chocolate? Is there a trigger to eating chocolate? Is there a time of day that triggers it? People. Evening. Evening. And also because I can't have sugar, I can't have gluten. There's so many things I can have. Chocolate, something I can have. Dark chocolate. So I feel like I have to. You know, I'm deprived of these other things, so I'm going to reward myself with chocolate. Great, let's save it in tap. There's so many things I can't have. There's so many things I can't have. That I may reward myself with a chocolate. With a chocolate. I'm deprived in so many areas of my life. I'm deprived in so many areas of my life. Always have and always will be. Always have and always will be. But the one thing I do get is chocolate. So what came up for you when you were saying that? Anything else occur to you? Um, no, just that it feels so good and soothing and, and, and I can have it. And as I said, I, I just want more of it. I, just, I started off thinking one of these, but more even out the bar. <laughs> <laughs> right. I always want more. I always want more. I always will want more. I always will want more. One piece is not enough. One piece is not enough. I always want more. I always want more. I always will 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 want more. I can't help myself. I can never help myself. I can never help myself. I never will be able to help myself. I never will be able to help myself. And despite this fact, and despite this fact, I completely love and accept myself. I completely love and accept myself. Just the way I am. Just the way I am. Even if I never change. Even if I never change. Take a breath. Is there a time for you to review? When you tend to chocolate? Well, it's the same. It's in the evening. But what I do to control it is I just don't buy it. I don't have it in the house. Because if I have it in the house, I get it. I will just eat it all up. So I just never get it. I, I, when, when I do, I, it's just like, okay, I'm treating myself. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to eat the chocolate. I'm going to eat it all. And that's it. You know, so that's how I manage that. Addiction slash craving, you know, whatever you want to call it, I just I keep it away. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. So I can't control it. I can't control it. The best I can do is manage it. The best I can do is manage it. By not having it in the house. By not having it in the house. And I completely accept. And I completely accept the way I am. The way I am. I can't have it in the house. I can't have it in the house. I can manage it. But I can't control it. But I can't control it. And I accept, and I accept it. that I'm out of control. And I'm out of control. Always have been. Always have been. Always will be. Always will be. Can't help it. Can't help it. And I accept myself. And I accept myself. Being totally out of control. Being totally out of control. Brown chocolate. Brown chocolate. And a bunch of other things as well. further. Let's just see if any of you have had it.
a reduction in grading is just doing this little bit of work on, on chocolate. So we borrow better bits. So, so, so pick the chocolate, smell the chocolate, and don't eat it just yet, but just see what number you are grading it right this very moment. Safe space to feel those feelings. Let them flow through. Let them be present. I'll say a few things. I feel that my dad died. I deeply accept myself. Even though my dad died. I feel so sad about that. I still deeply and completely accept myself. Let's do the nine gamut as well. So let's look back to the point, tapping over here. Good. Let's walk back. Steve, you mind just taking her water from her because she has to have to balance the candy there. <laughs> now I'm mad. Now I'm mad, okay. Now, now I'm mad. Tell me more about the mad. I've always thought my father was a good man. And um, how do you move out of state when you have a 12 or 14 year old and you take your brother with you? I can't believe it's a child. I feel bad. But so I always thought he was a great dad. And you don't do that. <coughs> I mean, at this age, I feel like you don't do that. It was wrong. You, know, you don't leave your kids. And he did. And I found out later that he had, didn't know, but my ex-husband had to tell me that your father had two affairs. No, he did not. He did. And when I found out, I used to get great gifts from my godmother. It was so cool. I would get these really great presents. And um, I'd feel special. And then they stopped. Never knew why. Roll forward years and years. And uh, my ex tells me about my father having an affair, so I have to ask my mother. <coughs> One was my godmother, and, and her son could be a half brother. You know. <coughs> so, you're really not a good man, so you suck, but it is what it is. Tuesday, March 10th, will be 1673, 44, something like that. You're going to die. It's a lifetime. So get over it. So again, we'll do the nine gamuts, so tap the back of your hand. <coughs> eyes closed, eyes open. Eyes down to the left. Eyes down to the right. 
Keep your head steady, guys, a big circle all the way around. Keep going, that's good. Good. I'm angry. Dad, I'm angry. I'm angry at Dad. I'm angry at Dad. How can you do that? How could you do that? It's so wrong. It's so wrong. It's so wrong. You're so wrong. You're so wrong. How can you do that? How can you do that? Steve, can you use your hands to fingers to yeah. big circles for her? If you prepare the study and then big, big, big circle. Yeah. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. How can you do that? How could you do that? How could anyone do that? How can anyone do that? Leave their kids. Leave their kids. At a vulnerable age. At a vulnerable age. You're selfish. You're selfish. You tell them. Sorry, but you were right. This is sorry. No, it is so wrong. See, now all the stuff comes up. Just tell them everything you'd like to tell them. Because we have to go to court. And the judge has to ask us who you want to live with. How could you do that? Both my brothers said, you, but, and you took Polly. But it's okay, it's all done. It's yesterday. We're all good, and I will find a good man. We will not do that when the time is right. Keep going, and keep moving up the eye movements. I'm angry. I'm angry. A little bit louder, I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm pissed. <coughs> I'm pissed. I am pissed. You was, it was wrong. It was wrong. It's wrong. Keep going. But it looks like an outrage. You've been holding it so long. Yeah. No, it was just so wrong. I thought you were a great man. And then it hit me one day when my kids were that age. My ex husband wasn't around. How could you leave your kids? I'm a girl. And you have that role model, that male role model. So it was wrong. And you lost that on me. But I lost that on my dad. So. It is what it is. It is what it is, and I will move on. And it's all good. But you were, you were selfish. Call him some names. <laughs> He's dead, he can't hear you now, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's just wrong. It's like you'd say you were a fucking asshole, but that's <laughs> your parent. But, no, it was just wrong. It just hung with me too long, and I thought you were a good man, and you really weren't. But I guess you did the best you could with, with what you know, knew. But that made you selfish. And that proved that you didn't care about your kids. So I cared doubly for my kids. You didn't care about me. You didn't care about me. And I'm your only daughter. And you didn't care. You give two shits. Sorry. That's fine. Because, yes, that's all in there. And burying it and stuffing it isn't helping you in any way. The tapping and saying it is letting it shift and move. Let's try, all, let's try all the points with both hands now. So, again, yeah, call, call him some names. Oh my god. You're, you were not nice. You were very selfish. Did not care about us. You didn't care about me. You suck. I don't know. It's just, I don't know what to say except it's just wrong. And you just don't do those things. You don't throw things at closed doors so they can break at mommy. You don't talk about other people. It's all wrong and you suck and I'm sorry. And I turned out pretty good. And you missed out on that. I was going to call him the last day. 
and I waited because I needed my other brother home, and he died that day. So I never got the call. So I hope you're looking down, and I hope you're really proud, because I turned out pretty good. I got issues here, but we got three great grandsons too. So well, it would have been nice to have a dad or a nice man. But I will. Try some more deep breaths, because again, you're still really, really tight. Are you not opening water than that, younger? So, hold off, say anything, Sorry. think anything. <laughs> just, uh, just tap and breathe. But focus on breathing really fully, slowly. I don't want the chocolate anymore. Deeply. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So tight, I want to see you relax. Yeah. So tap a little, yeah, tap some water, tap a little poise, just slow your breathing down. Deep, slow breaths. Right. Try a five second breath, like in, two, three, four, five. And out. Two, three, four, five. In. Two, three, four, five. And out. Two, three, four, five. In. Two, three, four, five. And out. You can just say you're sorry, and it would be okay. Yeah. <laughs> so send me a sign that you're sorry, please. Okay. It's stupid. It's like since you've been dead up there, we've watched how we suffer, couldn't you help? Like seriously. Like really. I can't go to the grave because I'll cry. It's like, it would be nice if you could help. But it's okay, I'll do it myself. But in reality, you really were not somebody to look up to. It took me years to realize that. When everybody talked about mom and we had, she got divorced, that was wrong. Because you don't get divorced in our family. And my mother did. But we had to leave our house. Didn't know why. Then my mother told me, then he said he'd burn it down. But then that's an adult, so. But. Whatever, it's all okay. I, I, I do have three great sons, three great grandsons that you would be very proud of. And I think you'd be pretty okay with me. And you were wrong, and I would really like a sorry. Okay, back in your hand again. And we just do some few eyes now going back and forth. So, <clears throat> at the other point, and say it out loud, I really want you to say I'm sorry. I really want you to say I'm sorry. <coughs> like, really. Like, really, yes. Like, really. Yeah. That would, that would just, it's not going to change how I feel. It's just going to make me realize you understood you did wrong. You did wrong. wrong. You did wrong. Yeah. We're not perfect, but you did so well. Yeah. I mean, you molded me with that. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. It sucks. It sucks. It was so wrong. It was so wrong. I want to hear you sorry. I want to hear you sorry. Good. So wait, right. one way or another, just send me something so I know it's from you and you're sorry. A coin, a feather, I don't care. Just something before on my way home. And I'll know it's from you and you. Can you close your eyes open then? Eyes hard down to the left. Oh, that's right. 
I just go down to the right and follow my finger over here. It's not right. It's not right. I want to know you're sorry. I want to know you're sorry. I want to know you mean it. I want to know you mean it. I want to sign. I would like to sign, please. On the way home. On the way home. I want to know you mean it. I want to know you mean it. I want to know you're sorry. I want to know you're sorry. It wasn't right. It wasn't right. You missed out on me. You missed out on me. On your grand your grandkids. And your grandsons. Your grandsons. That's not right. And it's not right. Divorce isn't right. Divorce isn't right. No. And I followed in your footsteps. And I followed in your footsteps. That so sucks. That so sucks. And I don't want my kids to follow in that route. But my head son's hesitant to get married because of history. But we're turning that around. <laughs> that was great. That was this is what Trump started. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we get such mileage out of a single ounce of herpes and kisses. It's amazing. <laughs> We're down to zero. <laughs> good. Good. See, you think it's about chocolate. It's not about chocolate. It's about something else. Yeah. Someone else all the time. So. And you know, we, we go on diet plans, we spend all this money on, on diets and, um, and various schemes to lose weight, and all the time it's about emotions. And if you keep on displacing your emotions onto the chocolate or onto the food, you actually delay the moment you have to heal. Only when you start looking at your emotions, you start to heal, and then you're craving for the chocolate or whatever it is, it goes away. So that's what the real world is done. It makes a huge difference. And you feel good about yourself at whatever weight you are, and however you are, really, you know. Um, it's when I, uh, five years ago, I would lose 40 pounds, and I, uh, I really focused on it because I, I, I need to lose, lose that weight for decades. And I did it in, in two stages, but it began with about six months of looking in the mirror and tapping and saying I love myself just the way I am. Then I began to lose 40 pounds. That's been easy to keep it open for four and a half years as well. So um, it began with self-acceptance. So loving and accepting yourself just the way you are. When you lose a bit of gain weight, accepting yourself, that's where you begin. So that's what we say. I love and accept myself just the way I am right now, with this craving, my body being where it is, and so on. What's that? I had a huge insight with doing this, that they thought it was just chocolate, but I don't know how many it. And um, I guess 20 years ago, we were in Germany at, at, at the time, of Paris, at the time I looked in the mirror and I looked like I had come out of a concentration camp. And at that point, it hit me that if I keep doing this, there won't be anything left and I'll die. And so it was a long way back from that. And I think now maybe with the chocolate, what I'm doing, I don't ever want to go back to that again. So I don't want to deny myself things. Right. So I don't want to not buy it and not have it in the house because I want to be able to just enjoy one piece of chocolate. But it's always been a control issue, with me, which I didn't realize till now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'll get to the point where I can just have one. Maybe I can try. Right. But I don't want to have none. Right, right. Because Absolutely. I'm afraid I'll go back to that. Yes. And maybe two or three, you know? Yes. Or one, two, or three. Two is okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't want to go back to denying myself. Right. I'm doing that when I was doing the relationship. Right. Right. I hear you. Yes. Absolutely. I haven't thought about the chocolate or that way now until then. Uh, two, two things came up. 
Once one time, I recalled getting uh, a family member, somebody gave us a giant Easter egg. I was a little girl. And it was doled out over a long period of time. It was like a special occasion to have this. Right. Time. Okay, we can have some Easter egg now. Maybe it was every Sunday or every other Sunday. Right, right. A month or, you know. But I remember eating this thing for a long time. The Easter egg was just lasting a long time. And it was delicious chocolate. And I think that's, I've always kind of associated it with that kind of gift and, you know, again, special occasion. And you're, you need to stop apologizing about telling your story about your dad because it was so similar to my experience with my father that I knew that you went there, it was that why we're here, of sitting up here together, you know, because so many correlations are what we're saying with my dad. So many, it was exactly. unbelievable. And you went through the whole thing, and, and, I, and, I, and when he said, yeah, curse at him, I was like saying the words, and then you were saying them, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it was just, very um, cathartic for me also. It was so important that you went there because I don't think I would have gotten there up here and I have worked on it, but you know, it, so no apologies necessary. Believe me, thank you. That's true. Thank when you do give that to these feelings, many people think of them, but don't have the ability or the courage to express them. So when you express them, you you help other people. It's hard as shift. a parent. You're supposed to love and respect parent. To curse at them or yell at them, unless it's in a moment you're fighting, it's it's a challenge. But did wrong, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's what seems what about the chocolate. So go ahead and just, just experiment now. Pick up the chocolate, smell it, and it's been a number for your craving. <laughs> right in the spring moment. I'm not craving, so it's a zero. zero. Yeah, it still smells like it did before, which is okay. great, but I don't want to eat it. Right, okay. Which is cool. Good, that's a choice. Yeah. yeah. Same with me, I'm just, I have no desire to have it right now. I'm not to say I wouldn't have it later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right now, no, I have no desire. <laughs> So as you can see, it's, it's never about the chocolate, it's never about the alcohol, never about the tobacco. It's always that we're displacing that onto something else. Something's happened inside here. There's some loss we've had. There's some emptiness inside. There's a person we love, we lost. There's a person we love that betrayed us. And the longer we make it about something out there, the longer we delay our own healing. Only when we make it about ourselves and about our own healing do we take the power back from that substance out there reclaim it into ourselves, and then it can do something about it. So it is so vital to go through this journey, this process, of making it not about the chocolate, but making it about me, about my history, about my relationships, about my past, tapping on those things, and then all of our cravings, all of our, um, all of our attraction to those things out there, all of our addictive compulsions toward those things, just go away. But if you join a diet plan, if you go to a nutrition club, if you go on one of the big, there are four big diet plans in America, go on one of those plans, um, they're teaching you about calorie counting, they're teaching you about food groups, teaching you about all kinds of other things, but they aren't going to train you to deal with your emotions. You're still taking the emotional stuff and making it about food. You're taking, it out, you're taking the power out of yourself and sticking it somewhere else. And you have to grab the power back from that, put it into yourself, deal with your own stuff, and then just suddenly all the other outer parts of your eating journey start to make sense and start easy to do. So I really want to thank and appreciate the three of you for being out here. Help us all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ready for chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Found my feather. You answered, Dad. My dad. My dad answered. I asked for a sign of a feather or something, and it was on the floor. And I just got. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.